Hi guys, in this video, I am going to discuss about bubble sort using csr.net programming language. So in this video, I will first write the code of bubble sort and next I will discuss detailed description about uh, trial method. So how does the program execute? So let's see. Next, I am going to discuss about the try and method of this program. So, if you debug the code, control comes to main method. Here, after that, coincide. So, I have taken integer a double r, array type variable, name is a double r, and I have given the size 25. So, at maximum, you can enter 25 elements into the array. So, first variable a double r. So, this is array type, and here, after n. and uh, temp and here after i and j now control comes to this point console class to right line method so whatever interval code that display into the output screen enter the number and whatever I am going to enter, so that received by n. So I am going to enter n value 5. And here after again console class dot write and method. So this are displaying to the output screen. And here 4, i value start from 0. And check the condition 0, n value 5. 0 less than 5, condition is 2. So that coincides. So at a double or 0 position, let's enter new element so at a double or zero equal to int dot parse console dot read line so that accept elements at zero position so this is array so this is a zero index one two three four so 0 position at here, I am going to enter 9. Now here after i increase, so i is now 1. 
check the condition one less than n value five condition is to that go inside so right here i'm going to into six and here i gonna increase so i is two now check the condition two less than five condition is to so that go inside here add or or two position let's into new element so right here i'm going to enter 11 i gonna increase so i is now three or check the condition three less than n value five Condition is to that coincide. So let's enter add or three position new element. So right here I'm going to enter four. Here after I increase so i is now four. Check the condition four less than five. Condition is to that coincide here. I'm going to enter or twelve. Now here after I increase so i is now five. Or oh, that check the condition five less than five. Condition is not to not coincide here. Control comes to this point. So right here I start from 0 and n value 5, 5 minus 1, the value come 4. So 0 less than 4 condition is true. So that coincide here, j value start from 0. And here check the condition 0, n value 5, i value 0 and minus 1. So 5 minus 1, the value come 4. So right here 4. So 0 less than 4 condition is to that coincide. So add here, if a double or j, so j value is now 0. So a double or 0 position greater than 0 plus 1, a double or 1. So add here, a double or 0 position 9, greater than a double or 1 position 6. So 9 greater than 6 condition is to that coincide. So at a double or zero position value go to tam. So zero position nine is there. So nine go to tam. Now here after a double or zero plus one one. So a double or one position value go to a double or zero. So six move to this point. At here. And now tam value go to a double or one. So at here nine come to this point. And here after that go up, here after that out from if part and that go up in a for loop continue. So j gonna increase, so j is now 1. So at your new array elements are so this is a 0 index 1. 2, 3, and 4. So right here, 6 comes to a double or 0 position, 9 comes to a double or 1 position, here 11, here 4, and next 12. So j increase, so j is now 1. J the condition 1 less than 4, condition is to that coincide. So right here, a double or 1 position greater than a double or 2. So 1 position 9 is the 9 greater than 11, 2 position 11 is the, the condition is not to not coincide, here after j increase, so j is not to, j the condition 2 less than 4, condition is to, so that coincides, so add here, a double or 2 greater than a double or 2 plus 1, 3, so 2 position 11 and 3 position 4, so 11 greater than 4, the condition is to, so here after that coincide, so at here j value is now 2. So a double or 2 position value go to tan. So 11 go to tan. And here after a double or 2 plus 1. So 3 position value go to j value is 2. So at here 4 move to this point. And here after tan value go to a double or 3. 2 plus 1, 3. So at here. At this point, 11 come. And now, j gonna increase, so j is now 3. So, at a new array elements are. So, this is a 0 index. This is 1, 2, 3, and 4. So, at a 6. 9 so this point 4 come add here 11 and next 12 
So J is now uh, three. J the condition three less than four. Condition is true that coincides. So at a, if a double or three greater than a double or three plus one four. So a double or three position eleven and four position twelve. So eleven greater than twelve. Condition is not true. So that not coincide. Here after J increase. So J is now four. So at a J the condition four less than four. Condition is not true. Not coincide. Here after that out from inner for loop. Now next that go and increase the value of i. So i is now 1. So at here check the condition 1 less than 4 condition is to that coincide. So at here j is equal to j start from 0 again and here n value is now 5. i value is now 1 5 minus 1 minus 1. So this time condition is 3. So j value is now 0, 0 less than 3, condition is true, that coincides at a double or 0 position, greater than a double or 0 plus 1, 1. So a double or 0 position, 6, and a double or 1 position, 9. So 6 greater than 9, condition is not true, not coincide here after inner for loop continue. So j increase, so j is now 1. Check the condition 1 less than 3, condition is true, that coincides a double or 1 position, greater than a double or 2. So 1 position 9, 2 position 4. So 9 greater than 4, condition is true. So that coincide here, j value is now 1. So it or 1 position value go to tam. So 1 position is 9. So 9 move to tam. And here after it or 2 position value go to it or 1. So 2 position is 4, 4 go to 1. Add here, 4 come. And now tam go to a double or 2. So at here, this point, or tam value comes. So tam value is now 9. So 9 come. So new array elements are So this is a 0 index. 1, 2, 3, 4. So this is a 6, add here, 4 come this point, here, 8 or 2 by 9, 11, and next 12. Now here after j increase, so j is now 2, j the condition 2 less than 3, condition is 2, that coincides, so at 8 or 2 position greater than 8 or 2 plus 1, 3. So 2 position is uh, 9 and 3 position 11. 9 greater than 11, condition is not to not coincide here, j increase. So j is not 3. So at here 3 less than 3, condition is not to not coincide. Here after that go up, increase the value of i. So i is not 2, j the condition 2 less than 4, condition is to that coincide here, j value start from 0 again. And here j. So n value is now 5, i value is 2, 5 minus 2, 3, 3 minus 1, the value come 2. So at here, 0 less than 2, condition is 2, that coincides. So at here, if a double or 0 person greater than a double or 0 plus 1, 1. So a double or 0 person 6 and 1 person 4, 6 greater than 4, condition is 2, so that coincide. So at here, a double or 0 person value go to term. So 0 position 6, 6 move to 10. Now here after a double or 0 plus 1. So 1 position value go to a double or 0. So add here, 4 move to this point. And now time value go to a double or 1, 0 plus 1, 1. So time value is 6, 6 comes to this point. So add here, new array elements are So this is a zero index. One, two, three, four. So at your four come at this point six, at your nine, at your eleven, and next twelve.
So here after that curve increase the value of j. So j is now 1. J the condition 1 less than 2, condition is 2 that coincides. So at a 8 over or 1 position greater than 8 over or 2. So 1 position 6, 2 position 9. 6 greater than 9, condition is not true, not coincide. Here after j increase, so j is not 2. J the condition 2 less than condition also 2, 2 less than 2, condition is not true, not coincide. Here after that go up, increase the value of j. So j is now 3, j the condition 3 less than 4, condition is to that coincide. So right here, j value start from 0 again, j the condition 0, 5 minus i value is so 3, 5 minus 3, the value come to 2 minus 1, the value come 1. So right here, j the condition 0 less than 1, condition is to that coincide. So 8 over or 0 person greater than 8 over or 0 plus 1, 1. So 0 person 4, 1 person 6, 4 greater than 6, condition is not to not coincide. Here after j increase, so j is now 1. Check the condition 1 less than 1, condition is not to not coincide. So here after that curve, increase the value of i. So i is now 4. Check the condition 4 less than 4, condition is not to not coincide. So here after control comes to this one, console cross dot right line method. So this are displaying to the output screen, the sorted array elements. And next for loop. So right here. Uh, this is i. So i value start from 0. Check the condition 0, n value 5. 0 less than 5. Condition is to that coincide here. So that display 8 or 0 position element. So for display, here after that can catenate the space. Here after i increase, so i is now 1. Check the condition 1 less than 5. Condition is to that coincide. So right here, that display 8 or 1 position element. Or uh, 6 display. Here after i increase, so i is now 2. So the condition 2 less than 5, condition is to that coincide. So at a 8 over or 2 position element display, so 9 display. Here after i increase, so i is now 3. So the condition 3 less than 5, condition is to that coincide. So at a that display 8 over 3 position element. So 11 display. Here after i increase, so i is now 4. So the condition 4 less than 5, condition is to that coincide. So at a that display 8 over 4 position element. 12 display. Here after i increase. So i is now 5, check the condition 5 less than 5, condition is not to not coincide. Here control comes to this point, console class dot return method. So this or take one input from keyword and terminate the output screen. And next that out from main method. So final output we get this 4, 6, 9, 11, 12. So this is a sorted elements. And here this is a dry method of this program. So I hope guys you understand. So thanks for watching. See you next week.